Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is boring and notching of dimensional lumber. All right, sorry, I'm trying to have a little bit too much fun with my intros there. So if you're gonna drill a hole into a floor joist, it's also known as boring in the trades. You're boring a hole. And if you're gonna notch, that's, well, that's notching. We don't have any special words for that. But there are certain rules in the code book when it comes to notching and boring and cutting traditional dimensional lumber. And when I say traditional dimensional lumber, I'm talking about things like two by sixes or two by eights, two by tens, two by twelves, two by whatever. As we surely all know, that lumber isn't the exact dimension that we say. I mean, a two by four hasn't been a, a full two inches by four inches for a long time. It's actually one and a half inches by three and a half inches, but still, we call it a two by four. So we have certain rules for this dimensional lumber. You can find that in your code book, and these rules have been the same for quite a long time. They're pretty universal. If you are a home inspector or an electrician or a plumber or carpenter or HVAC contractor, even a handyman, you, you should know these rules. They're pretty basic and I'm gonna power through them fairly quickly today because there's no need to make this a long video. But we'll start with boring holes. The rule for boring a hole is that you cannot come within two inches of the top or the bottom of a floor joist. Those top two inches are sacred. Don't touch them. And then for putting a hole in the rest of the joist, you're allowed to use a hole that's one third of the total dimension of the joist. Now, if joists were full dimension, I mean, if a two by 12 was really 12 inches, the math would be really simple. We would just take one third of it, which would be four inches and say maximum of a four inch hole. Unfortunately, it's not a full two by 12. A two by 12 is actually 11 and one quarter inch. So if we were to divide 11 and a quarter by three, we'd get, I wrote it down, three and three quarter inches. So that's the maximum size hole that you can have in a two by 12. So whatever it is, the max is one third the joist depth. That's what you're allowed for boring a hole. Next, we'll talk about notching. What if you wanna cut underneath the floor joist? Well, there's, there's two rules that we can look at. One is a notch at the very end of the joist, and then another is a notch in the middle of the joist. So if you're gonna notch at the end of a joist, you can take away one quarter of the joist depth. So let's say it's a two by eight, you can remove a little bit less than two inches. That would be one quarter of an eight inch member. When it comes to putting notches anywhere else along the length of that joist, if it's not on the end, you're allowed to do it, but the dimension of that notch is reduced a little bit. The rule there is one sixth of the joist depth. And I'm not gonna try to do the math, but uh, you take the joist total depth, you divide it by six and whatever you got, that's the maximum notch. And you're not allowed to put notches anywhere though. You can only put notches on the outer thirds of that joist span, the middle third, that's sacred. No notches on the top, no notches on the bottom, no notches anywhere in there. So if you've got a 12 foot span, you can put notches from zero to four feet, four feet to eight feet, nothing. And then from eight feet to 12 feet, you can notch there again too. So that's what we have for notching. And when it comes to roof rafters, if you have traditional dimensional lumber, lumber for a roof rafter, I'm not talking about a, a truss. That, that's, that's special, you don't mess with trusses. But if you have traditional rafters, the rules apply the same way. Same rules for boring and notching. And what is a home inspector to do when we come across a floor joist that's over notched? Or it has a bore hole that's too big. I'd say it's a judgment call. If you have a joist where someone just cut out the whole thing, well, call a carpenter in and tell them to fix it. If you got a joist where, you know, the maximum size hole was supposed to be three and three quarter inches and they got a four and a half inch hole and it looks like somebody did this 30 years ago, meh, who cares? I'm not gonna make any big deal about it. 
but big holes will call a carpenter com to come in. What about getting an engineer? Maybe we should suggest having an engineer to further inspect this. No, we should not. That's like saying go see a brain surgeon because you have a headache. You, you don't need somebody that's specialized. This should always be a simple repair for any qualified carpenter to fix one of these. I say always, of course there's always exceptions, but most of the time. So that sums it up. That's, uh, those are the basic rules for notching and boring traditional dimensional lumber. And in next week's video, I will follow up with the rules for putting holes in manufactured eye joists. This is Ruben Saltzman. Thanks for watching. Take care.